Hello, today I'll be showing you the Mercury's First Aid Kit, what it contains and the importance. The Mercury's First Aid Kit is suitable for your boot or for American views, the trunk of your car. Or under the seat for, the, for those unexpected minor injuries. Okay, so to make it more suitable for you, it has a velcro at the back which you can keep on the carpet of the boot or the trunk of your car or keep it um, vertical up so it can stick and it won't move around. <laughs> this is the motorist first aid kit. I've gone ahead and I've opened it already. Um, as you can see it contains various um, first aid equipment which I will go ahead and explain to you in a minute. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've laid out all the equipment that was in the motorist first aid kit. Um, okay, so we're going to start off with the antiseptic cream, 25 grams. Uh, this cream is used for small wounds, cuts, scratches or minor burns. Um, it contains a um antiseptic um, to cleanse and kill bacteria on and below the skin surface protects against um, infections and promotes rapid healing. That is the uh, antiseptic cream 25 grams. Okay, so we're going to do dressing. So I've got four different conforming dressings, bandage dressings. I've got a number five, a number three, a number two, and just a plain one. Okay, so these dressings are ideal for secondary dressing for wrapping legs, arms and just to hold dressing in place. The dressing provides a light stretch which enables it to confirm to different body counters um, and it's easy to secure with either a safety pin or tape. Um, also provides a light um, compression so these are the four different types of dressings that you get inside your motorist um, first aid kit. I've got cotton wool balls here, five. Okay, so cotton wool are usually used for cleaning wounds and for padding and protection. Um, not really to apply onto an open wound as the free fiber can break away and into the wound. Um, Best use the wool to apply ointment or as padding when you are dressing your wound. So that is good for that, for dressing, rather just using to pad your wound. Okay, so we got a latex medium glove. Uh, it comes in, a, of course, in the pea. This glove is amazing because it's made of natural rubber and it reduces the chance of irritation. So I think this is pretty cool, as you can see, awesome, very stretchable also. Okay. So we're going to look at the faucet, which is like a tweezer and can be used to grip small objects and remove foreign body airway obstructions quickly. The stainless steel faucet um, are suitable for splinter removals and the fine points allows for maximum control and also to be used to lift um, bandages from a wound. The faucet. Okay, so we're looking at um, pain block. Um, commonly used for um, pain removal, widely available either by itself or in colds and flu remedies. Um, it is used to relieve aches and pains on and as needed basis. So as you can see on the box it says for, remo for relief of pain and fever. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at Rennies. Um, Rennies comes in different flavors like peppermint, spearmint, even ice chewed um, tablets. So, um, it is best used to reduce the acidity of the um, stomach juice, especially when you have upset stomach. Um, best to use Rennies. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at burn is um, dressing. 
Um, it's suitable for application to any um, burns and scabs. Um, provides a physical barrier against infections and remotes cooling and healing. Um, and this basically you can use it for any different type of burn or scabs that you have. Um, and it helps. It basically cools it down and it heals it also. Okay, so we're looking at the rescue scissors. Um, these first aid scissors are perfect size for a first aid kit. Um, and it's strong enough to even cut through gauze, tapes and other first aid items. So a rescue scissors is always needed in a first aid kit. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking at the sterilized gauze um, swaps. Uh, this is best used for padding, protection, um, blood spills, uh, or an open wound. Um, apply anti. What depends on the wound. Um, whatever antiseptic you use, you apply this on top of that. Um, any application to an open wound, you should use a gold swaps. Um, there we go. Okay, so we're looking at the fabric um, plasters. Let's just open one. Okay, so this plaster is an extra um, flexible and breathable fabric um, strip. Um, they are suitable for covering all types of small everyday wounds such as scratches and cuts. Um, so the material is very stretchy, the material stretches with the skin um, moving making them suitable for um, use over joints and other movable parts of the body. Um, it is non-sticky, it's a non-stick um, pad that ensures that the wound is um, protected while the strong um, plaster stays in place. Let me just see. So it's like a place that moves. See? And it stays in place. 